Hello, World of YouTube. So, I wanted to talk to you about um, a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Aaron, and he lives in Texas, so a while away. Um, we met through the internet because a lot of the times I meet a lot of my friends through like social networking and like friends of friends and stuff. Um, so that's kind of how I met him. And uh, the more we talked, the more we found stuff we had in common. So, like, both of us were in marching band, except he did it in Texas. So, like, we never would have competed against each other unless he did, like, Bands of America, um, which I only did for one year. So the other day, he we do this thing where, like, he'll send me a text and he'll be like, okay, well, you want to go out tonight and we can go have dinner or whatever. And I'll be like, sure, I'll be there in, like, three days, you know, whatever. Um, just as a joke. But the other day, uh, he sent me a text that said, you want to go get lunch? And I was like, sure, I'll be there in a year. And so he texts me back and he's like, okay. And I'm like, okay, we can meet it around noonish. And he said, so noonish May 25th sound good for you? And I'm like, yeah, let me just check my schedule. So, you know, something that was a joke now is like a legit thing. And so I'm, right now I'm working on finding plane tickets to go visit him. And it's really exciting because I really want to go like people – in today's society a little skeptical of meeting people um, that they don't really know and for me it's interesting like I'm excited to meet these people who I've never talked to before um, and like in just like a small space like just within New York I have all these friends in a Facebook group for Homestuck cosplayers so like with them we plan to meet up and stuff and when we meet up it's like oh hey hi it's nice to finally get to meet you um so it's really cool uh and being able to meet someone who lives in a different state altogether is really awesome and i find like it's just something i want to do and i want to travel anyways so being like starting off in the states is a great way to do it um I was going to go to Chicago last year, uh, well, last summer, but I never really got around to it because I had to work and I didn't have enough money to go, and I was going to go, like, the week before I came back here, but I really needed more money, so, um, but I'm talking to him about, like, prices for tickets to go to Texas, and, uh, it's like mid two hundred to three hundred dollars, so it's not really that bad. It's just right now it's not something I can really think about doing. Um, but hopefully by May I'll have the money in order to do it. Um, I mean it'd just be really cool. And he said that he'll take me to go get sushi, and I've never had sushi before, so it'll be a cool experience if I do get to hang out with him. Um, and, I mean, if I don't, then it's whatever. We'll do, like, a escape dinner or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, so, that's about it. Um, so, if you have any friends that are, like, out of state or out of country or anything, it just, you know, figure out a time when you guys can, like, meet up, meet halfway or something. Because... You may be friends with them online, but it's a d totally different experience. Like, you may Skype or you may, you know, have a phone call once in a while, but it's a totally different experience to meet the person in, like, real life. To actually see them, be able to give them a handshake, give them a hug. Um, and I know uh, some friends of mine met up a few months ago. And for them, it was like they lived in the same country, but, like, they'd never really met. So, I mean, their experience is pretty cool. And, I mean, I talked to them about it. So, it, 
just like being able to meet someone that you've never actually met but like you've seen and you've talked to and heard their voice for me it's just really cool to be able to do that so yeah um i'll talk to you all tomorrow then bye